Hey guys, I'm gonna be taking you through some sneak peeks of our newest planner. This is our linen cover. I'm not a fan of this pink color, so we are actually doing away with pink. It's too light, it picks up dirt, and I am a very, I like to say clean person, and it's picked up quite a few things that I have no idea where it's come from, um, or just gliding across like a kitchen counter, so I'm not gonna do a light color just to save you guys the trouble. This year we're gonna be doing single spiral coils. These are thick. I feel like when I look in a camera, sometimes they look thinner than they are, but they are thick coils. Um, and this again is a sample, so it's not exactly perfect or how it's going to be, but we are going for the single coil as well as the soft rounded corners. These are gonna be a tad bit lighter and we're gonna have gold foil on all of our planners. On the back, we typically have our slogan of clean, organized, intentional, but this year we're just doing our little gold P. Do you guys see this? I don't even notice that. I don't know where it came from, but that is why I'm not doing a very light linen color, but the inside is amazing. Our planner is meant to mimic the mini planner. So our mini planner went really, really popular and we wanted to have our big planner match the mini. That way you can have the option of doing the mini, the regular, digital, or printable, but all the same planner. So gonna have a lot of the same trackers that you know and love with slight improvements or just a change of a word or two to make it make more sense for you. One thing we did do was switch our bill payment tracker we now have it where you fill out the amounts as opposed to a check mark that it was paid. This was recommended by a subscriber here on Instagram and they said that they would prefer to be able to write the amount in, so we changed that. Some of our debt pay down trackers um, are going to be here with a picture. So now we have a visual tracker of the debt coming down. I haven't colored it yet. I haven't even done each leaf. This is my sample. So I'm really trying to play with it. I can make sure that it makes sense for people, but I wanted to give visuals this year. Now this savings tracker is going to be for you to track your savings accounts. So I wouldn't track sinking funds in here unless you only have maybe like one or two. Um, but we also gave you this visual thermometer for you to track how much you're saving and then kind of the number that it would be. This is um, actually my son's savings account. We always put money in. We don't really take money out unless he decides to spend something out of his savings, but we really try to not let him. So this is kind of fun for him to see. Um, but again, this is a sample. So I was just kind of playing with it. I haven't colored it in yet. It's not completely finished. Our emergency fund isn't even filled out at all. I wrote some of the starter stuff. Um, and then this is what it looks like blank. So some of the new things that we did was put in a lot of our savings challenges. So this was never available in the big planner, but the mini, these went really popular. So we were like, okay, let's put them in the big planner and make them a part of it um, because they were so popular. So the people who wanted these trackers, but were like, oh, it doesn't fit the planner. Obviously it's for the mini. Now you have it included in the planner. I also gave you guys a little Santa Claus and I put percentages on him. I don't like to like, get super technical with the um, with the uh, percentages and stuff, but I did do percentages so you can kind of color him as you feel like you're going along the savings. And then I showed this on Instagram, but there's no bleed through. This paper is white. Oh, this is perfect right here. So this paper is white and it's a little smoother. So sometimes you can see through, but it is not thin. So but I was like so worried and confused about that. But look, there's no see through of the color. So. Don't be scared if you see a little see-through, like, oh my God, it's gonna bleed through. I promise you, it does not. Our 52 week savings uh, challenge, we upped it to double. I've since lighted, lightened these colors. Again, this is my sample, so I've changed a few things the way it's uh, looking, but uh, we changed this slightly, but you have the 100 envelope challenge. I moved this over here to give you better writing because who can write like that? This is friendly for lefties and righties. Um, so you have 500 savings challenge. And then um, I just changed slightly the way this looks to make more sense. So here's a sample if you are paying something off. So there's different types of payment plans, right? You can have a monthly. I know a firm does like 12 months, 18 months. Some do 12, six, four payments, whatever. So I left it blank. So you can do pay in four if it's like a four payment or paying 12, or you can just leave it blank and then kind of do your own thing, like track the number of payments, track how many, the dates, where from, blah, 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 color the payoff wheel. 
I did a little payoff and I believe I edited in a payoff check mark. Um, that way when you color off the payoff wheel, you also kind of have that to check off. Um, I believe I added that, but if not, then you have the payoff wheel. I like to be super considerate of everyone's kind of like OCD, like, oh, I need to be like done. So I kind of added stuff, but you get two to a page of these because usually those aren't that frequent, only maybe for large purchases or one-offs. And then I also have the subscription tracker, which I, to be honest, I only like this when you're starting out your budget. So I did definitely think like, can I get rid of this? Or is it something that you really need? But then when I went through looking at everything, it actually made me pull my statement and pull the dates and double check stuff. I was kind of mostly knowing the ballpark. And then I was asking my husband like, where, like I was like, where does Audible come off? He's like, oh, my credit card. Well, I don't know that. I think he just pays the credit card and then I pay it off. But I don't think it's clicking that that's for Audible. So little things like that made me think, okay, this has to stay. And then we have our medical account tracker that is one page. Last year it was two pages. We did one page to give you guys more things. So this year's holiday planning uh, and gift planning is very, very intentional to be with space so these aren't on accident the lines being big it's on purpose so this is for you to be able to say um you know mom and then putting down her ideas by the way this pen if you guys don't have one it makes you write beautiful every time um but it has ideas and budget so you can put the budget anywhere you want but the ideas box is bigger so you have more space to like have ideas of a gift and then the actual same thing you can have a bunch of space to write I, last year we did one line and it was a line to write exactly what you were going to get, but I was like, well, maybe a bracelet, a purse, maybe we can get a wallet. So I wanted ideas and then I was like, well, I don't even have space. So I gave space for you guys to kind of do that. And then the difference, either amount or whatever, and then a check mark that she is purchased and done and then you move on and then you have a total gift budget decor budget and then total needed for everything the budgeted and the actual and you have two pages of that okay so if you have a big family you have two pages and then the holiday spending i did this on a um i think a TikTok, but uh the holiday spending is for you to track the spending of christmas money or holiday times and you get two pages of that and then this is an investment tracker for you to track your 401k. Before it had like gains and losses and things like that. I just did a plus and minus. You get four. So you have four this year. And then you have um, your annual account balance tracker. I ended up giving you guys two of these. So my sample has one. And I'm not going to flip over here because this has my login information. This is a password tracker over here. So let me cover that really quick. I'm going to passwords obviously to my Googles. And your account balance tracker I'm using for sinking funds. So I said, okay, um, on the first of every, every month I'm updating this. Now I didn't put a box here because you don't have to use it for sinking funds. I am down here. It'll tell you track any accounts that you'd like here, checking account balances, credit card points, sinking funds, balances, debt balances, or any specific accounts you'd like. The options are endless here. I use this to track my weight changes, credit score, etc. Have fun. So sinking funds balances is what I'm using it for. The sinking funds tracker had like, I don't know, 15 on there and I was like well I only have one two three four five six seven and then I thought well I'm not gonna do seven I'd like to have one blank in case something pops up so I was like seven well then I wrote down the sinking funds and then I really liked it and I said okay well in August I had and I started updating the amounts for each thing that way I can have a visual of where I need to put money and then I started thinking again this is samples and then I was like okay I wrote everything down and then I left a blank and then I said well I'd actually want to track some of the other sinking funds that I have so I gave you guys two so if to you it doesn't make sense it's for the people that do use it for sinking funds you have one extra just in case and it's going to be right next to it that way if you have a bunch of sinking funds and you do want to track them you have them right there then you have the password tracker like I said I'm actually using it I wanted to make sure the spaces worked so password tracker I think I only wrote two passwords but still and then you have your birthday tracker which this came in our mini. This came as downloads. Did it come in the mini? I can't remember if it, if it was in the first mini or if we added it as an add-on. I edit 
pages, guys, like all the time by request of customers. People email me, DM me, asking me to do different sheets. And then I design them and then I put them on the website for everybody. But it's not always in the mini design because it was created after. So this one, I loved it a lot. It's the most popular. This one, the password tracker, some of the other ones you'll see. So I put it in our planner so you guys have it. And track RSCPs. If you texted, called them, visited, any notes you want to put here. You have some note pages. This year, the note pages are lined, not dotted or grid. And then you have house chores. So again, I played with this. Um, so you have the monthly and so on, which means this is monthly that I determined is monthly. Okay, I was like Googling, what do you clean monthly? I was kind of thinking my house, thinking of what other people's houses would have, trying to think of apartments, like trying to think of everything. And then homeowners also, and then non-homeowners, like what's the difference of cleaning? And then I did quarterly. So quarterly, there's some blanks for you to have space. And then when you find the time, this means when you find the time. It's not something that you need to do, like mop the garage, right? You don't need to do it, but when you find the time, get it done. Um, and you don't need to do it every week or every single month, like replacing light bulbs, right? Not frequent. Emptying or throwing unused products or empties, like from your bathrooms or your bathroom shelves, shower shelves, your makeup station, things like that. Not every time. You have your notes pages. Again, they're lined. Okay, so we get into our month, a notes page as well. So you have the month here, the monthly intentions. Now, this page has a little bit of an update. So we have removed the faith section from the back of the planner for a few reasons. One, I wanted to do a devotional really bad. I used to lead a small group in my church. I've led a few of them and I really enjoy doing devotionals and talking to women about things about God. So I wanted to do a devotional, so I had started to write a devotional, and then I stopped writing the devotional, and then I, I was time to design the new planner, so I kind of like put that on the back burner and was like, okay, I have to finish the design. Then I thought, I will give a scripture for the month, and then reflect, do scripture reflections. So every month is a different scripture and different questions, okay? But then you have your same boxes here that you know. I changed this to struggles instead of blockers because it seemed like nobody understood blockers. I think I watched a movie and then took it from there. <laughs> Events this month is a small box on the side. Um, we removed the prayer request section because if you really want to do prayer requests, you can do it on the notes page or you can do it anywhere in the back of the planner. You'll see. And then we have our sinking funds update slash envelopes. So I have everyday envelopes and I've talked about going cashless, so I'm split decisioned here, but I have envelopes, right, in my wallet. These are my everyday envelopes. And then I have sinking funds. So the sinking funds are depending. Some of them are cash, some of them are in my account. So I have like our 5K challenge in our wallets is in here. So that's in here, so it's not in there. So I'm going to use this as my sinking funds uh, update if money's moving. So if I know money's going into one, I'm gonna put it here. If I know money's coming out of one, I'm gonna put it here. Um, not my daily envelopes, because these are used so frequent. This is a sample wallet, by the way. We're coming out with something like this, but it's still in design phase, phases. Um, but. I wanna do something here that's not too much to update, but it's a very meaningful update. So if you wanna do sinking funds, you can, your envelopes, you can. I'm gonna be using this for sinking funds. And then I'm aware the days are not here, okay? So just ignore that, it's gonna be in there. We removed the mood tracker from the weekly spread to give you guys a water tracker, okay? Each circle is eight ounces. And I put a mood tracker here. So back in the day when I used to doctor my um, doctor my planners, I would draw like along here, I would draw like a swirl or up here and I would draw circles on it and then that would be my mood tracker. So I kind of had that idea um, and I kind of made this little vine thing and put 31 days on it and I put the, thir the end of the month up here so you can kind of end of the month and jump into the new month kind of thing instead of like you're still here but you're in a new month. So that was kind of intentional here. And then you have your memos. You can put like colors down here if you want, like blue means happy, red means sad, whatever, and color them in. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. You can also do this. Somebody said you can use it as um, like office days, like office admin, whatever. 
Ideas are endless there. You have the month printed at the top. It's going to be undated. Your weekly spread, like I said, has the water tracker. You have these line pages down here, or these line sections. It's split because I always like to give you guys options, personal business, work and home. You can do um, budgeting and non-budgeting. You can do meals down here. You can do health stuff down here, whatever you wanna do. You have your shopping list as always, a notes box. You have um, your habit tracker as always. You have a blank schedule. Think of this content schedule okay you can do content schedule you can do kids schedule maybe one kid has sports different sports you have you can do cleaning schedule workout schedule whatever schedule okay so this is kind of a blank canvas here same over here again from last year and then your to-do list this week is much longer and wider so it's wider for you to write more stuff your weekends i gave you guys nice big boxes because somebody said don't skimp me on the weekends so you guys have nice big weekend boxes and then we're gonna go this is me again sampling my pages you're going to come back here and at the end of the month you're gonna have a weekly wellness this one is one to one page I realized it was too big for this page like the spaces are humongous we can make better use of the space I squished this you have two to a page each month has the same amount of weeks that they are in the weekly wellness tracker. So if there's four weeks, you have four. If there's five, you have five with a note page next to it. That's next to the monthly budget. So this is kind of like connecting the mental to the money, okay? So when you have the monthly budget, which is very clean and neat, this is how the mini is and everybody loved it. So we carried that over. Then you have, again, the mini design here. You have the payday things next to the paycheck planner, which we'll show in just a second. The payday things are for you to break down the cash envelopes that you need. Now, if you're doing, um, uh, like two weeks or something you can separate it by color here um, or you can write notes whatever you want but the spending by category is something you guys really wanted so if you have a digital envelope or you don't track every single transaction then you can use the spending by categories which are here here and here you have three a paycheck and you can track food you can track um groceries you can track or gas vehicle expenses whatever your categories are cash or digital you can track them here if you don't like to track every single transaction but if you like to track every single transaction feel free to tear this out and just use this next to it or keep it to use this however you want to do it and then you have the paycheck planner um, which we changed slightly we added some grays and stuff to give it some balance but you have everything here the space is nice and big um, and then you have the totals at the bottom so you have um, a, B, C, D, and E. So it'll tell you section A, section B, section C, D, E, and it'll tell you what's the total, okay? So what's the total here for each number and then the actuals after. And then you have your expense tracker or tracking expenses, that's front and back. Another one, front, and then it jumps into another paycheck planner. You get five paychecks a month. The sample only has, I think, two or three because it's a sample. And then we have the monthly reflections, which can be for, again, sinking funds or cash envelopes or a budget. So if you say in groceries, we're gonna spend 400, how much did you actually spend? Or you can say sinking funds updates. However you guys wanna use this page, you can do that. You can even do credit card balances, debt balances. I didn't wanna trap you into debt updates or savings updates or whatever. This is for you to do what you wanna do. And then you have proud of improvements, how do I feel? And then your very important finance box. So boxes, so your investments that you have, debt, credit score, savings, if you want. If not, wipe them out, put, put a washi tape or something and you can customize them however you want. This is the monthly tab for all the months. So that's it. So you have the trackers at the front and then you have all the months. The tabs are no longer single pages to make space to give you guys the rest of the stuff I said. So we have the tabs attached to the pages. This is a regular page, nice thick tab, and it's laminated the same as last year and always to give you guys a reliable divider. And then we have the pocket at the front, y'all already saw. And then it has an elastic band. She's thick, okay, because that's just who she is. Look, look at that. I just, I can't understand. 
I can't understand. Oh my God, is this from the desk? <laughs> this is why we don't do linen. But anyway, or the light colors. We are changing this color, but this is the planner. I wanted to show you guys a full walkthrough and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you have questions, leave it in the comments. Again, this pink linen that dirties very easily will not be coming with us.